Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna go over how to be well-dressed even when you're in a rush. These are really helpful tips that you can rely on to get out the door quickly. You can use them to look and feel your best even when you're short on time. And the more that you practice them, the more easily you'll be able to rely on them. And I found them very helpful, so let's get started. So my first tip to always be well-dressed even in a rush is to choose matte textures and matte materials. This one's really helpful because these are easier to maintain so you don't have to pull them out of your closet and then worry that they're not going to look that great. You can kind of wear them with ease throughout the day without having to fuss and fidget and they always look very very chic. There's something about like matte suede, matte leather, a matte sweater feeling, nothing too over the top or too flashy that just automatically looks perfectly polished and it's definitely something that I rely on when I want to be out the door quickly. I also find that matte texture textures don't need to be ironed as much. So if I'm pulling things out of my closet and I'm in a rush, I don't have to worry about steaming or ironing because they hang perfectly every single time. My next tip to always be well-dressed even when you're in a rush is to choose color combinations and have a couple in your back pocket that don't include black, but that look really, really chic. And the reason why I say to avoid black is because black is so expected. And especially if you want your outfits to look like you put a lot of effort into them, skipping black is the fastest way to do that because not everyone does. So I love color combinations. I've done a couple of videos all about them, but specifically for the sake of this video, there are a few that I always come back to. And the first is a beautiful tan color, kind of like a tanny brown and then off-white. Those look so chic and they work all year long and you can get them in different textures and different materials, doing um, heavyweight or lightweight depending on the time of the year. And you can wear that and look fantastic all the time. So these next two color combinations are great supplements for head to toe black and especially if you love to wear the color black because these give you that same benefit they're really easy they're effortless you don't have to worry about stains but they look a little bit more thoughtful than just head to toe black and that is head to toe gray or charcoal and then navy i love the color navy and especially if you find like the perfect navy for you so maybe it's a really rich almost black navy something that feels truly like a marine navy or you can go a little bit softer go for something that's like a little bit brushed with gray or you can find one that I really love that's got a little bit of warmth added into it. Those are going to be perfect all year long and they look really really chic. And then likewise with gray. Gray is so flexible and so versatile. You can customize it just like you can with navy. You can find your perfect gray and pairing head to toe gray always works and it goes really beautiful with brown accessories and especially if you choose brown or like a rich chocolatey brown instead of black. That's that's going to add that little extra impact to your outfit and again it looks so thoughtful even though it took no time to put together. Now similar to those color combinations you're going to want to have a couple outfit combinations on hand and I talk about this all the time because this is a real game changer when it comes to your personal style. When you can find outfits that you feel great in and then you can replicate those in a lot of different ways you end up with really great personal style that you can actually use and things that you can move in, things that function for your life and things that are really practical. So this is gonna take a little bit of time and my recommendation is to look at your closet. Don't buy anything new, just look at what you already have and be really honest about your favorite pieces. Pull all of those out and then see what outfits you can put together. Take a picture and save it in a folder in your phone. That way when you need to get out the door quickly, you go to that folder, you see all of those great outfits with things you already have and you can put them on and feel great in no time. So my next tip to always be well dressed even when you're in a rush is to have at least one great bag on hand that fits everything you need for the day. It's fully stocked and ready to go and it looks really great. Now the key here is to find something that you can actually carry and it's comfortable for you. Like I mentioned in my wardrobe planning video, if you don't do this, you end up not really wearing them. And something that I'm trying to get out of for this fall and winter and moving forward is wearing my bags again. And so in order to do this, I'm going to go back to what I did a couple years ago and that is to choose kind of like my key bag for the season and put everything that I need in it. That way when I go to get dressed and maybe I'm going to run out really quickly I can just grab that bag. It's going to look great. I'm not holding things in my hands or panicked trying to find something and switch everything out but I can just effortlessly reach for that to complete my outfit and then still have that function throughout the day. So to find this for yourself find a color that's great. Look for something that's really well made. It's got great 
great construction to it. I love something that has a little bit of shape so that it can sit up by itself. And then make sure it fits the largest thing you have to carry. So if that's your laptop, make sure it fits your laptop, but don't go too much bigger than that. That way you have something that's not gonna be uncomfortable to wear, but you can again, use it to round out your outfits and look and feel really great. So very similar to that, my next tip is to make sure that you have at least one great pair of shoes that's not too dressy, it's not too casual, and most importantly, you can walk comfortably in them and you can wear them without pain all day long. This is gonna be so great because if you've got those outfits set aside but you've neglected the shoes, that can cause panic to set in when you're rushing to get ready. And especially as you're putting together an outfit and then you're trying to find shoes that are comfortable, it can kind of ruin the outfit. So when you're putting together those outfit, make those outfits that I mentioned earlier, make sure that you're finding a pair of shoes that's really comfortable and complements those. That way you have the full head to toe look and you can wear something that you can actually walk in and actually move in. It's a real game changer. And when I started focusing on comfortable shoes, I was able to put together really great outfits that were also functional. And the functional part of your personal style is where you can really start to use it every single day. And last but not least, to always be well-dressed even in a rush is simple jewelry that's not boring. And this is something that again, I focused in on the last couple years because I really love jewelry, but I found myself kind of neglecting my jewelry because I would be trying to get out the door quickly and then I would wear the same thing every day. And it defeated the purpose of having so much beautiful jewelry. So my recommendation here is to lump your jewelry together in kind of categories and things that you like to pair together. So maybe if you like this pair of earrings with that necklace, put them together in your jewelry box. That way when you go to get ready, you can go, oh, this is definitely the feeling today. And you have everything you need right there. Kind of like the outfits that I mentioned earlier. And the beautiful part here is that it doesn't need to be expensive jewelry. It just needs to be things that you feel really great in, whether that's silver or gold, shiny or a little bit more matte, you can customize it to you and your preferences. But again, having things that when you wear them, you love how you feel, that's going to be essential to getting out the door and feeling great. Because if you can feel great, you're going to look great. So I hope that these tips are helpful for you. And especially as life is busier and busier, these can be really essential to allow you to really lean into your style and feel like you can get the most out of it without having to feel flustered and compromise on anything. And they're things that have been really helpful for me. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.